Kodak Black has asked a court to order police in Florida to return the car and cash they seized during his arrest in July. Officers alleged they pulled the rapper, 25, over for driving in a vehicle with illegal window tinting and expired tags, and searched the car after smelling marijuana. The search reportedly turned up 31 oxycodone pills and $74,960 in cash. TMZ has reported the SKRT artist's attorney, Bradford Cohen, has filed papers arguing the rapper was not involved in illegal activity. He told the court Kodak has already proven the pills were from a prescription to treat pain stemming from an incident in which he was shot over the Super Bowl weekend in Los Angeles and for ongoing pain resulting from being assaulted by guards while serving time in prison. The attorney also claimed the cash belonged to the rapper, indicating that he was often paid cash for gigs and that his client kept money on hand to pay for various expenses. Documents were provided to the court showing the Dodge Durango the transport and singer was driving belongs to Florida-based record label Sniper Gang, and Kodak is a manager of that entity. been free on bond since his arrest. The conditions allow him to leave house arrest in order to work, which is why the Tunnel Vision rapper was able to perform July 24th at the Rolling Loud Miami show. On the official records, Kodak whose real name is Bill Capri, faced two charges, possession of a controlled substance with no prescription and drug trafficking of oxycodone. Oxycodone is a narcotic drug prescribed to treat severe pain, and can be highly addictive. If taken in high doses, it could also possibly lead to respiratory issues and death. is no stranger to having run-ins with the law, and was arrested earlier this year in January for trespassing in Pompano Beach, Florida. The performer has been arrested for various different charges since 2015, including trespassing, robbery, illegal possession of a firearm and sexual assault. In 2018, he was sentenced to 364 days in prison due to possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and possession of marijuana. The singer was released in August 2018. It wouldn't be long until he was sentenced once again with 46 months of prison time due to lying on official government papers in 2020. While the rapper was serving time at the United States Penitentiary, Thompson, in the state of Illinois, President Donald J. Trump pardoned his sentence. However, Kodak still faced criminal sexual assault charges. After a plea bargain, he was sentenced to 18 months probation. In January of this year, the Zeze singer was arrested on a trespassing charge in his home state of Florida. The arrest occurred shortly after Kodak finished his 90 days at a rehabilitation center after failing a drug test. The rapper has released music detailing his prison sentence, including the song, Last Day In, 2021. The tune describes the end of the star's last day in prison after his sentence was pardoned.